Today, fire investigators in San Marcos confirmed a leak in a propane tank caused explosions that destroyed multiple food trucks. This all happened yesterday morning at a new food truck park near Texas State University. KXA's Eugene Cho spoke with one of the food trailer owners who is now questioning if there should be stricter safety guidelines. Cooking for others, that's where Umberto Ortiz finds peace and joy. What I did find out through cooking is it settled my anxiety, my depression. Just two weeks ago, he left his full-time job to dedicate all of his time and energy into his trailer. But everything he's put into it so far. Surreal. You don't think it would ever happen to you. One day you're, you're working there and the next day is just, it's gone. Investigators say the first explosion happened at a truck right next to Ortiz's trailer. And so Ron Dooley's is right here. There's like a little hitch right here where they're in the propane tanks. They are right there. We checked with the city of San Marcos and found out they don't limit the size or number of propane tanks each food truck can have. The main requirement is that all the tanks be properly secured and be in an upright position. Ortiz wonders if checks for leaks should happen frequently and if there's a way to detect leaks when the trucks are closed. Maybe that's something that they should look into into putting into these food trailers. Uh, something that sets out an alarm that is maybe tied to the fire department if it is, if that it, capability is available. Fire officials told us all the food trucks at the park passed inspection since October 11th. As for what's next? It's going to be very tough to get back in there, build your savings account, build some capital in order to get back in. It's just, I don't know what's next. It's the first thing in my mind right now is, is get a job. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. There are currently 50 food trucks with permits in San Marcos. For comparison, the city of Austin has 722. Austin also has more robust propane tank regulations. The propane system needs to be tested annually. Food trucks can only carry two 100 pound tanks and they have to be stored in a well ventilated area. That means vents on the tops and bottoms of cabinets. That's so that propane can dissipate quickly and minimizes the chance of an explosion.